Police in Draper are dealing with a dangerous trend tonight. Teens who are shooting strangers with gel guns. Yeah, they believe it's all part of a TikTok trend. But as new specialist Mike Anderson explains, they are concerned that somebody could get hurt, maybe even worse. Mike? Yeah, Mike and Dini, you know, these cases are happening all over Draper, but we've already heard of uh, some more in Tooele, Vernal, Centerville, and Unified Police are investigating several. And in at least one case, police say that uh, a man already pulled a gun in response. A nice evening walk out with the family dogs. The passenger held a gun out the window, pointed at me, and started shooting. Quickly changed for Chris. She thought it was a real gun at first. I could feel pellets kind of hitting the back of my head and down my legs, and I was scared. Instead, it was a gel gun, much like this, also last night. And then... Boom, 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 boom. Brad, who, by the way, is the husband of a KSL employee, was shot while walking into the grocery store. He first saw a group of teens, but as he turned and walked away from them. Six or eight impacts on my back, and it stung a little bit. It didn't hurt, you know, real bad. It was startling. And six teens were arrested. Their parents not happy. Draper police say it's a concerning trend. People in those moments, you're startling them. They're unsuspecting. Um, they might do something to you. They might hurt you. Lieutenant Pat Evans says one case already turned bad. A couple of people in cars actually boxed this, these, this group of juveniles in. It was after some shootings in this parking lot. Evans says a man pulled a real gun on the teen driver. While this was going on, the woman was also punching the same driver. Another one where police say teens walked into this restaurant and started shooting. Evans says parents need to talk to their teens. It's not funny. And really, we're pleading for parents' help, for schools' help, for everybody's help to, to get the message out. For those who have been through it, it's pretty clear. Not only did it make me fear for my life, but their lives are also at risk. And by the way, uh, both Chris and Brad there asked that we uh, only use their first names for their own safety. But uh, in the meantime, police would like to talk to everyone involved in that confrontation I mentioned where the real gun was pulled.